guys, it's Belle from Hampton Your House here and I just thought I would share some really quick and simple tips with you that will help you to get through your pile of washing quicker and get it folded and straight back in the cupboard. These are hacks for the washing line which is what I use, as do a lot of people in Australia and across the world. It saves electricity, it's eco-friendly, it won't shrink your clothes and it's really pretty easy. But these little tips will help to streamline the process and make it even easier. Hack number one, shake the clothes and pull them out straight to get rid of wrinkles and avoid the need for ironing. I hang shirts nice and straight from the bottom. Once they're on the line, pull them out straight to get rid of any extra wrinkles and pay special attention to any flutter sleeves or clothes with collars, bows or ruffles. Same goes for pants. I usually do up the button and hang them with three pegs to make sure they dry in shape and pull out the wrinkles. The wind helps to blow wrinkles out too. Hack number two. If any of your washing gets peg marks, here's an easy way to get rid of them. Simply sprinkle or spray the peg mark with a little bit of water and quickly rub the marks out with your thumb and the marks will be gone. Super easy. Hack number three. When you take shirts and pants off the line, take the peg off one side, fold them over towards the other peg then remove that peg too. This way your shirts and pants are almost completely folded already, you just have to finish it off. This saves you time and brain space because you don't have to fold them later, you can just put them away straight away. You can also do this with pillowcases, tea towels, bath towels, beach towels, etc. It's just a small change to the way you take the washing off the line, but it can make a big difference to how quickly the whole job gets finished. Hack number four is for sheets. With sheets, grab the top pretty edge of the sheet, pop that edge over the line, and line up the corners of your sheet so it hangs evenly. You can peg the bottom corners if you like. Always make sure the top edge is facing the ground, especially if it's a coloured sheet. That way if the sheet happened to get sun bleached, you wouldn't see it because it would be across the middle of the bed. When your sheets are dry, grab the two ends and pinch up the centre of the sheet as you pull it off the line. As you do this, your sheet is already folded in quarters, and because you hung it straight, there's a nice straight fold line to help you. No more dragging sheets in the dirt or needing a large space to fold them. And with the fitted sheets, I just keep it simple. Hang the fitted sheet in the same basic way as the flat sheet, although it's a little harder to get it exactly straight, but no need to be pedantic. Take it off the line in the same way too, by pinching up the centre of the sheet and matching up the two corners, which folds it as you pull it off the line. Then fold your sheet in thirds with the fluffy bits folded inside to make it look nice and neat and fold over once more. Nice and neat and didn't take long at all. And lastly, hack number five is just to pair and peg your socks together when you hang them up. That way when you come to take them off the line, it's a quick unpeg and roll and you're done. When I'm sorting through the washing, I try to make sure I have both socks in the load when I wash. That way they don't get separated as much. And we often keep the socks rolled in pairs in the washing basket too, until we're ready to wash them. Now all you have to do is get your family to put their clean washing piles away.
Well, hopefully you found these tips helpful and I hope they help you to get your washing done and put away in record time so you can get back to enjoying relaxing holiday vibes in your home. Please leave any other great tips that you have in the comments section so we can all help each other out. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I love making content that will help you bring relaxing holiday coastal Hamptons vibes to your house. So if you'd like to see more, please check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.